well this morning uh nader was he was uh changing to his shorts and, uh, <laughs> and when he when he took them off his legs were like so white they're like ghost legs i mean <laughs> they're just he's so light it's like transparent <laughs> i mean like you look at him and you're like wow do you ever get a tan nader um if there's one thing i want you to know i mean um i i met you last year here at wnr and i mean just reminiscing on, on that i mean you're probably the best the best person i probably met last year alhamdulillah you're just you're such you have such a great character alhamdulillah and, and whenever i needed you i mean you were always there for me i mean mahmoud and jamil they were they were all, they want to thank you as well they want they want to tell you how much they love you and, and i'm just, i'm going to miss you so much this year i could i won't stop thinking about you neither inshallah uh, i love you man please inshallah please keep me in your du'as and inshallah i'll keep you in my du'as i mean what was something nice that you first noticed about Ali? Something nice that I first noticed about Ali was that instead of appearing like a counselor, he uh, he more so was kind of like a, I guess I, I didn't I didn't he didn't impose on us the demeanor of a typical counselor, and that was that to me was just profound. Ali, to be honest, uh, I can't give you I can't say enough for what you did for me in this camp. Uh, this is a very um, defining moment in my life because the reason the reason being is that usually all most of the minute camps it's like uh, I feel I feel I feel comfortable all right I guess that but this camp I didn't really feel comfortable at all and you are one of the uh, many people that made me feel at home and how you came and you know you, you brought me food when I was sick and I was laying in my bed and for that I just really wanted to say thank you Jazakallah khair and inshallah it was it was nice knowing you man what quality do you love most about this person? What is uh, a nice quality of this person? Well, a nice quality about Shabazz is that he's always willing to help and be respectful. Like, no matter what situation you ask him, he won't judge you about your situation. He will, he'll come to your terms and talk to you personally about it. All right, Brother Shabazz, I just wanted you to know that you're an amazing person, and I want to keep in touch with you no matter where you go. And I'm sorry to say, but Cincinnati is better than um, UNC. What's the quality that you love most about Adil? What is something that you really appreciate about this person? Um, I really appreciate his sincerity in being a counselor. Like he actually wants to counsel you. He cares. I mean, he, he's not like one of those strict people who like will hunt you down if you do something wrong. He'll come to you in a kind way and he'll try to fix things. He'll try to help you in your issues and problems that you're having. He's, he's a real counselor, you know? I just want to tell you, you're a very amazing counselor, and you're very kind, mashallah. And you, you, you're like, you're like an ideal person. Like we can all look up to for role model, you know. Um, I mean, I know your your wife is out there, Sister Rabia, and uh, I'm jealous of her actually. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Don't fit a lot, Ali. But yeah, the awkward moment when <laughs> dot dot dot. Okay. Yeah, but. Um, uh, d d d it's like, they can't go in the video. <laughs> Why not? That can't. What quality do you best appreciate about this person? What do you love most about Hassan? The thing I love most about Hassan is his overall energy that he brings. When, when he walks into the room, it's just everybody's mood just suddenly changes. He brings that special fi fire in, uh, to camp and he just, he's very friendly, he's very open and he's very energetic. Random, he he'd be start, he'd start uh, singing a nasheed, and we'd all uh, join in with him. So, mashallah, his energy overall is what makes him very special and what makes me love him. What do you think about his singing in the bathroom while he's taking a shower? <laughs> it's very funny. I mean, it, his voice, mashallah, is very beautiful, and at times he can get a little carried away, but mashallah. Alhamdulillah. I would just like to thank you personally, Hassan, for making this overall experience one of the best camps uh, I've ever been to. And overall, the energy you bring, it's just, mashallah, you're a very special person and one of the best counselors I've ever had. May Allah uh, be pleased with you, inshallah. Amen. What was something nice that you noticed about this person? Um, Fadis has an inspiration and a drive to become a better person. That was something that really inspired me in this camp that he wouldn't just tell me what to do or would just dictate out rules. He would be doing those same things. He would be 
he wouldn't tell me to be quiet or whatever it is before a prayer. He would go sit down, and that's something that I found was very beautiful. He would lead by example. I can say that this camp wouldn't have been the experience that it was without him. Fattest man, I love you. Thank you for everything that you've done for me at this camp. I'll keep you in my prayers, inshallah, and inshallah you get what it is that you want from life. Keep in touch. Well, uh, mashallah alayh. Uh, Abdullah, he has such a big nose. I love it so much. Um, and, and like, I remember one time, this is a, and he was like, there was a lota on the ground full of water. He just picked it up. He, <laughs> yummy. What quality do you best appreciate about this person? Um, the quality I most appreciate about Abdullah is his, his like his knowledge. He, he's really knowledgeable, and he's he's able to answer any question that you have. And so it's, I just really like that in, in him. And you, I can ask any question, and he'll be able to a answer it to me. Well, first of all, Abdullah, I just want to thank you for being an amazing counselor and being uh, and being really helpful to me, answering any questions I have, making this such a great camp. And inshallah, you have an amazing life, and I see you over and over again. And uh, inshallah, I can, I can, we can talk some more. And I just want to say thank you. What was something nice that you first noticed about Kareem? Well, Kareem, he's he always like if we're if we're like at night if we're messing around and we're talking and it it annoys him a lot, but he doesn't he like he doesn't express his feeling he like doesn't want us to like get like sad and he doesn't like just uh, go uh, like uh, screaming and yelling at us he like gives us time to quiet down and like he he, he he's very nice thanks Kenny for everything you've done for our group and I know that all of us are even like Ahmad and Ahmed and uh, Ali and uh, Yusuf, they're all very, uh, very happy to have you as a, uh, as a counselor. And I bet if they were up here, they'd be saying the same thing. And I, I hope that like uh, I can come to camp again and you'll be here. So, or, like, and maybe you can be my counselor again. Aww, inshallah. What was something nice that you first noticed about this person? Um, uh, he's, a, he's kind and he's like really interactive. He's like one of the main browsers. He's Munir, you know, he's, a, he's like the browser. He's creative and you know, he knows how to get kids hyped up and uh, he knows how to make them laugh. Munir, you're the best. You're the browser, you're awesome, you're kind hearted, you're loving, you're exactly, I was excited when I found out you have a counselor. I want to keep contact with you. I want to, I want to see you again at Minna Camps. I, I hope you keep me in, I do, in my, in your duas and I'll keep you in mine and I hope you go places where you want to go. What do you love most about this person? Oh, I I love her with a passion. Oh, that sounds weird. Oh no, not not like that. <laughs> <laughs> what quality do you love most about this person? Um, Bari is just she's very she's always hyper. She's always just ready to go, ready to move. Always just really chipper, which sometimes gets annoying. But she's it's it's so much fun to be around her because. You can, her energy reflects off her and bounces to you, and it just gets you ready for the day. What was something that you liked about this person when you first met them? When I first met Anna at the airport, I just noticed that her appearance, she looked like someone you could talk to, someone you could confide in, and she just looked like a nice person that you really could trust, someone like that. Amna, I feel really sorry for your mom when she tries to pick you for budget when you go home. But anyway, you've been an amazing counselor, and when I found out you were my counselor, people told me that you were such an amazing counselor. Now I realize that. I love you so much, and thank you for making this one of the best camps I've ever been to. What quality do you love most about your counselor? My counselor is very, um, she's very encouraging, and she's definitely there to support us. 
Um, she's never going to lie to us. Anything we ask her, she's definitely going to answer um, as truthfully as she can. And at the same time, she can have a lot of fun with us and she can goof off. And so it's amazing to have a counselor that can do both things and um, be an amazing friend at the same time. Counselor Laura, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being an amazing counselor. If it wasn't for you, this week would not have been as amazing as it was. So thanks for making my first minute experience amazing. What's a quality that you love about your counselor? I like how she's clumsy because it makes me feel better because I'm really clumsy. And she's a really nice person, like, like we can tell her anything, like she gets us, and yeah, basically that's it. Uh, Sava, so, uh, I just want to thank you for being my counselor. I wouldn't choose any other counselor. And I really had an amazing time with you. Um, yeah. um, I was walking by the girls, the girls that were in a circle, it was for a girls' minute rap session, and I walk behind my counselor, or no, I walk behind somebody, and that person's rapping. I turn around and I see it's my counselor. I was like, my counselor can rap? Like I, I would have never found that out. She's such a quiet person. Hearing her rap, and she was legit too. I was in a shocking. I was in a shocker moment. I, I had to run away and just like kind of catch my breath. Like what just happened? Would you like to share some of those amazing lyrics with us? thing is that I walked around, I saw that, I ran away, and I had to like... I, I understand. I didn't, I didn't understand. And okay. then, um, apparently she can play soccer too. Didn't know that either. So she's very... She has a lot of qualities that we don't know about her. So, and rapping being one of them, which I love. So, yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Veronica, for being my counselor. It was an honor to um, spend this week with you and getting to know how your uh, experiences in Zaytuna College were. Um, please come back to another minute camp. I'd love to have you as a counselor again. And um, this may sound cliche, but don't ever change. You're a brilliant person, and I love you for that. Thank you so much. What do you love most about your counselor? Um, that she's a very creative person, and she loves to, like, match us all together and she wants us like to bond and I think that's how a cancer should be and yeah. thank you and Breen for everything the pearl bracelet the fun bonding experiences the the top bunk experiences and I love you too What was the first impression that you had when you met your counselor? Oh, Rabia. I actually met her last year, and I've known her best friend personally from San Antonio, Texas. So the second I found out Rabia was my counselor, I was like, oh my god, I had to contact her best friend. I was like, Zignette, I have your best friend as a counselor. And it was just amazing. I knew I was going to have a good time. So I knew that. Rabia. I love you so much. Your outfit's amazing. <laughs> Why aren't you talking to me? The camera's right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what do you love most about your counselor other than her quote unquote mesmerizing eyes? Well, besides her mesmerizing eyes. I love the way she's very unique and talented and I really admire her for that. And two things I learned about her was that she loves making clothes and mashallah she's very talented in that and scrapbooks and I'm really looking forward for her to make one for us. Nimbuda, it's been an honor. You, you mean Nimbuda? Yeah, Nimbuda. Like you're my lemon. And it's been an honor meeting you and everything and I really appreciate all the work you've put in and everything that you've done for us to make us have fun in the camp and everything. And I just wanted to say, like, for you being the first, like, for this being your first time as a counselor, you did an amazing job and we all love you. What was your first impression of your counselor when you met her? My first impression of Abby, though, was um, she was just a complete dork. Like, uh, she has this smile that's just goofy 
it's warm, it's loving, it's friendly, all at the same time. It's impossible not to notice her. She was definitely just, it just, she just came off as amazing and somebody that I would look up to and somebody that I would want to be friends with. Is this the same Amina that has bad sleeping habits? This is Ebida. Oh, oops. Salam um, Ebida. I just wanted to thank you for really just being yourself and for loving me and for loving all of us so much and it really does mean a lot to me. Um, I know that you are in a lot of people's lives and you are loved. I'm done. Words can't describe his hair. Allah. I mean, mashallah, it's amazing. It's, mashallah. It's, 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 it's just beautiful. Allah. Mashallah. I think it's amazing. I love, I like, I want to pull it. <laughs> nice. Although I, I like my hair. Um, mashallah. I think, I think Hassan's hair is just so, so beautiful. It's so deep and luscious. I get lost in it. Allah. And I want to just rub my hand through it and just and just touch it Allah Subhanallah Subhanallah Alhamdulillah Well, I think it looks best whenever it's like all bunched up in one area and like he puts a uh, Hijab? No, uh It's like a Band, hair band? Yeah, a hair band and it looks best like that and uh, it, it's like it's hair that you can't explain <laughs> Allahu Akbar. I'm in love with it. It's it's beautiful. It's like the best thing I've ever seen. I wish I could grow Hassan's hair. I want to just stick my fingers in it, and I, I just want to curl it, and I just want to shampoo it, and I, I just want to smell it. I want to do everything with it. I want it to be my best friend. Okay, um, yeah, uh, it's big, poofy, and um, pen malicious. Cause like I mean, you can fill out a pen in them. Astaghfirullah, this this, this guy's Hassan. This guy's a disgrace to your hair. This is astaghfirullah. <laughs> well, Hassan's beautiful luscious hair. It reminds me of kind of like this uh this singer from the '80s. I can't remember. Him. I don't know if it's Mick Jagger, or, but it, it's it's legit. It's legit. Can you can you sing a song uh, to Hassan's hair? If Hassan's hair was in front of you, what would you sing to it? I like your hair. Like a bear, it's not fair. I don't care. I want your hair. I'm gonna stare. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Awesome. Oh wow. Um, she's a really heavy sleeper. Uh, she doesn't like to be woken up. It's really hard her to wake up, let alone wake up other ca campers, so um, she used to work on that a bit. Oh, I'm gonna sleeping habits. Um, let's see. It's very, very peculiar, Amina, I'm sorry. That is just, that's just creepy. I mean, well, not creepy. It's more, it's more just like, why would you wake up your innocent campers when they are trying to sleep and then you crawl back into your bed all warm and fuzzy while we are in here just dying from cold water and cold weather and then you jump out 20 seconds late. It's very, it's not very nice. Oh my god, Anna. Um, I think it's really ironic how you wake up us campers and yet you go back to bed anyway. I mean, really? I thought counselors were supposed to be role models for us campers. Do you guys try to wake her up? Yes, but she won't move. It's like she's a rock when she's asleep. So do you throw water at her? <laughs> no, we haven't tried that yet, but honestly, that would have been a good idea. Inshallah, subhanAllah, mashallah. Oh, wow, okay. Um, my bunk is in the very back of the room. Hers is in the front. And somehow, every single morning, I can still hear her screaming, counselors, or campers, wake up. Well, okay, she tells the counselors too. But then, by the time I get dressed and I go outside, she's still asleep. And the boys are walking in, and she's still asleep. Like, when are you gonna wake up? Like, totally. Um, she, she doesn't feel it when you pinch her when she's sleeping. If you pinch her, then she will be like... Have like you tried that. kicking her? No. Have you tried throwing her off her bed? No. Have you tried throwing water on her? No. 
and she still doesn't wake up. That is very interesting. Good God. Oh God. Um, it's definitely a nightmare. I don't know what to think of Amida's sleeping habits. They're inhuman. Um, she's like a rock. She's like dead all the time, every single day. Uh, it's scary. It's inhuman. Well, I'm sure she needs to work on them. Uh, she comes back from Frederick Prayer and snuggles up in bed and then screams at everybody to hurry up and get dressed while she's in bed and goes to sleep for maybe 30 minutes, then decides to wake up and screams at her campers a little bit more. Then at the very last like two minutes, right before we're about to leave, she gets up and she goes and she changes and it's just hilarious. Well, I remember a story. Um, I remember that morning when her voice was so ferocious and she was yelling at me to get up. And I was just terrified. And yet when I came out fully dressed, all I saw was her and Abida sleeping on the bed. I'm so disappointed. Sean. <clears throat> Always laughing, smiling a lot. Very gracious guy. Even when I text him, I'll send him a smiley face and say love you. And I'll say love you back. And I'll send a smiley face with a three. And that's Sean. That's supposed to be Sean with the beard. That's where's my phone. Let me show it to you. I have noticed that a lot of campers are actually not missing and are still here in the camp. I also noticed that he actually shaved a little bit of his beard and kind of shortened up a little bit. And I found the correlation with that. That actually, if everyone remembers the few camps before, he would actually fit children into his beard. Not just pens and knives, he actually fit children. So I remember the camp I was at two years ago, we had a few of the campers that went missing. But uh, it's nice to see them all here though. Sean, I thank you for being my interviewer and allowing me to become a counselor at this camp. I am highly appreciated that you were the, my counselor advisor and all the counselor meetings we had after uh, dinner really did help. Your leadership abilities, your teaching characteristics, the methods you took, a lot really did help. Wait, <laughs> I have to hug the camera. Okay. Johnny, I love you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, I'd like to say that Alhamdulillah I had a great time at the Mina camp this year and it was a great experience. I really enjoy the company of everyone, the brothers and sisters. I thought we had some great sessions together, some beautiful questions, and just uh, the environment was just absolutely amazing. The last piece of advice that I would give, if anything, is that be sure to continue on what we started here. We wanted to create a spark in your heart for the, the, the want of searching the deen and good company and for you to excel in your life as Muslims and to propagate the deen wherever you go in your life. So go back home and take this to the next level. This is a starting point. Be sure to understand your responsibilities and be responsible, be strong, make dua to Allah and Allah Azza wa Jal will, inshallah, use you for the deen. Be good, do good, stay in the company of the pious, become pious, learn the deen, become knowledgeable. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept from us all.